And welcome back, everyone. You're listening to The Spectrum here on WUSB Stony Brook. You just listened to All Out's self-titled EP due to release next month. We got early stream through it for those um, lucky enough listening right now. Right now, I'm with two of the band members. We're about to talk different um, about different questions um, about the album, not about the album. We're just, you know, going to have a little bit of fun, pretty much, for about half an hour to about four o'clock. Um, so, how about you guys introduce yourselves? Tell us where you're from, how the band formed. Um, uh, uh, pretty much a quick bio, well, really. Thanks for having us, Kyle. On the, yeah, man, on really the appreciate station. it. Yeah, really appreciate uh, this. I should probably get clo- should I get close to this thing. How no, close, yeah, how I, close I, should I we get? How intimate? You're pretty good right now. <laughs> oh, cool, so. sweet. Cool, cool. All right, what's up? Yeah, uh, I'm Phil uh, uh, Montalbano. I play bass and do backing vocals in All Out. <laughs> what's up, guys? My name is uh, Luke. Um, I am the vocalist of All Out. Um, I am the most recent member of this band. And uh, and yeah, and it's great to be here. And uh, it's awesome that you guys were able to hear our record for the first time. And uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, it's coming out November 26th. Um, and I think you guys will really like it. Cha. So again, um, how did um, the band form? Um, when did you guys start? Um, where? Did, when did you guys meet? Um, well, you were in this long yeah, time. Yeah, well, I was. yeah. So uh, how it started was uh, I, I, I must have looked everywhere um, after uh, uh, breaking away from a band called uh, uh, Terriginous, and uh, I don't know. Like, I wasn't even sure if I really wanted to do music, but uh, I guess once I, I got that spark again and to, to do my own thing, so to speak. Um, I, I reached out to Kev Kemp, who I've known for a number of years, and I kept on asking him, and I asked, asked, <laughs> asked, I asked, like, search all of Long Island, do you know any guitar players? And he said no, and then I asked him again, like, a month later, like, I really need to, uh, I really need to start this, like, I have so many ideas in my head, and then he said, all right, so he, <laughs> he, and that's how you found that, that's how I found, uh, uh, Andrew Ojeda, Andrew I mean, Ojeda, that's, yes. uh, that, that, that's how it happened, and, uh, it, I, I was just very fortunate at the right place in the right time, I guess, because um, in in that moment, uh, uh, his band, their band, Every Hour, um, mm-hmm. was slowing down, and, and, and a lot of members are getting ready to go to college. And to make a long story short, um, we clicked right away. Uh, we became <laughs> best friends, and um, so where'd you get Lax? When, when did the lead guitar player come into the picture? Way, Whoa. way down the road. But let's, <laughs> we're at the beginning, we're pal. We're at the beginning. Um, so, the so yeah. So we just, we just bonded. We became best friends. We were into the same exact music, um, and 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 we like, we love the heavy stuff. Uh, we love the easy core stuff to um, the soft stuff and everything in between. Mm. So, like I said, we became best friends. Well, you guys we, were '90s babies. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so. no, I'm actually. 80s. Oh, 80s? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Late Excuse 80s. Me. But anyway. Excuse me. Um, so, the, the long, make a long story short, that, that, that's how it happened. We just clicked. Um, and and uh, he wanted something more serious. I, I wanted something more serious than my past uh, uh, musical efforts. And um, here, here we are. We're, we're, we're here. <laughs> so. All right. And uh, well, I'm Luke. And uh, I was the most recent member of the band, actually. I, I joined the band about six months ago. Um, and I'm the singer, and most of these songs that you guys just heard uh, were already written. And I met Andrew Lax at, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Ojeda, at a show that I played um, over maybe this was two summers ago. And you know, he asked me he had a band called All Out, and I was kind of doing like a solo acoustic thing. I was playing at a backyard uh, benefit show at the time. I was really busy, but uh, you know, around around winter, about two years ago. Um, well, about one year ago, actually, it's the last winter. Uh, I, I reached out to Ojeda. He sent me over a lot of some of the tracks, and I was like, "This stuff is really good, you know. It's mm-hmm. it's really it's really reminiscent of uh, the '90s pop punk, and it also has a lot of modern influences, like a day to remember, State uh-huh. Champs." Um, but uh, and yeah, ever since then, it's just been really great, you know, coming together and recording this record and seeing what I can do to make this record better. Yeah, and it has been. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, when did you guys start first playing shows? Any memorable moments so far? Um, actually, our first show was mem- very memorable. Um, you know, we, that was we, the summer, no? 
Yeah, that was over the summer. This on the past June we played uh, uh, through uh, Lewis Novice's uh, Blacklist Collective. Blacklist mm-hmm. Collective. And he does an excellent job, by he the way. He does a lot for the scene around if you're here. Listening, Shout out to Lewis. Yeah, yes, Lewis. If you listen to Lewis, yeah, thank you, man. We, we love you to death, man. And uh, <laughs> our first show was great. Um, it, it was a Wednesday night. We didn't expect 50-plus uh, people to come out to see our first show. Um, but we had it, and, and, and it was really cool. It was packed. There was a, a there was a lot of great bands on the bill, and it was just such it was such a fun night. Um, and I don't know. I the, the I, we thought everything sounded great. Felt, Sound was great. It almost felt it almost felt like game changing, day changing in a sense, you know, because we yeah. spent so much time working on the record, and a lot of people knew about us because a lot of people you know look out for us, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, right. it, was, it was really nice to see that we had that support. So seeing all those familiar faces in the crowds, you know, and uh, you know playing that first show. You know, we didn't have any music released, but everybody was just vibing it. And, you know, ever since then, we've been playing shows all summer, this this recent summer. Um, we played the B-List album release show mm-hmm. in early September, which their new record is phenomenal, fully ignorant. If you guys haven't heard of Fantastic. it, check it out. They are incredible musicians and great people. Um, and yeah, we just... So like you support. said, you know, you had some support before, pretty much. You know, you still haven't released music. So what was that, like, motive to get, like... Well, before you played shows, let me correct myself. So, how did you build somewhat of an audience from kind of like nothing? Um, we, <laughs> in a sense, uh, you know. more, 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 <laughs> so, more, so, more so me, me than I hate. Even though I hated a great, great job, I, 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 I don't. I, I mean this in the, the sense that I, I just, uh, I was just so excited about the the new music that I must have sent everybody our demos. Like I must have sent like. 400 people are demos before we even started tracking with Frank. And you guys have been all over the Long Island scene for a long time. You guys support bands like I've never seen. Yeah, before. I mean, we we just we just love the music so much. We love the people involved. Uh, I think, in my honest opinion, in the last two and a half three years, it's gotten like at least 80 times better than what it was. Um, especially when I was in uh, the metal scene. Um, this is everybody's a lot more positive. Everybody's in a better mood. Um, the turnouts are better. Than most uh, uh, other genres affiliated on Long Island, uh, I, I'm, uh, I'm not talking down on the genres. I'm saying like the right. mood, the overall mood. Everybody goes out of their way. Everybody um, comes with a lot of hope at the door, you know, and we all just vibe out. And you know, we, it seems that you know, whenever we leave a show, everyone's got a smile on their face. And yeah, it's yeah, really, it's just it's and, really and, cool. and this is five or six bands, you know, um, overall. And with with the pop punk scene, we're roughly bringing. Uh, uh, I guess depending on the show and the night, um, with just locals or maybe one touring act, uh, you know, it, it, it's like 160 heads to like over 200 and like 20 heads, depending on the venue. It's great, and that you know? and that's a lot compared to everything else that's going on. So it's just great to see that, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's you know it's hard enough to get people to listen to your music, you know, let alone come to shows. Um, but we've had some really great support, and we can't thank our friends and family and. Yeah, um, we, people who are starting to enjoy our music, almost almost even fans. I use that term mm-hmm. lightly, but I mean, I've seen people I never met before, you know, and just coming up and just saying, you know, keep doing what you're doing, and it really reinforces the fact that we're on the right track and that we want to keep working hard at it. Yeah, yeah. So that's this long. So long story short, um, that 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 that's what happened. We uh, we did, we just basically sent it out to to everybody, all our friends, and uh, 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 I guess the few fans that we have, and like uh, just everybody in the scene. Like we just just shelled it out. That's you know. <laughs> so, what were some of your influences, pretty much growing up, to become like your sound, become a musician? I guess you can list a few, and then I'll. I'll yeah, I um, uh, g- growing up, it was uh, summer of two thousand one. It was uh, Sum forty one, Blink, and Green Day, and and then. Oh, be- hold on! Before we go on, I need you to rank the three albums that came out this year from best to worst. Oh, which, which, which oh, with which, all the revival, the yeah, revival in nineties music. Yeah. Oh man, um, you know what? It's it's all really cool stuff. Um, it's interesting to see. You know, you see a lot of modern pop punk bands, or even like metalcore. I use the term easy core lightly. Um, you know, it's cool. We saw Blink One Eighty Two on tour with Data. Remember, mm-hmm. I don't think anybody who came from the nineties ever thought they'd see something like that happening. Yeah, and, um, good mix, good, good yeah. smart bill in my opinion, because you got the old and you got the new, and, and they've always you know kept themselves being fresh but the so early pop punk uh and then i moved into like the iron maidens and the mega deaths and and, and that blew mm-hmm. me out of the water and then i got and i guess the mid 2000s i got back into hardcore uh it was just you know bad brains minor threat gorilla uh-huh. biscuits and, and then and then from there uh you know set your goals is probably the first 
easy core band I ever heard before they even called, uh, mm -hmm. before I even knew what the term meant. So, or, you know, heavy pop punk or groovy pop punk. But what's, uh, what's your influences there, Luke? Um, well, I mean, we kind of grew up around the same time. I'm a little bit younger than you, Philly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> only, Thanks. only a little Sing. bit. So I, I keep throwing that in there. I don't mean, I don't mean to. Uh, but uh, I guess, you know, I grew up on the same stuff as you. I, Some 41, I love them. They're really, really phenomenal uh, musicians and, you know, give great energy. Blink-182, Green Day, all those bands. And then working into a more modern time, um, I think a day to remember, maybe four years strong. Uh, the story so far and an up-and-coming band that we've got the pleasure in, uh, to meet recently and we've been talking to for a while uh, Broadside uh, they just played at Amityville Music Hall in, uh, on Friday and you know they brought the heat just alongside Boston Manor and all these other great bands and uh, I mean I take influences from all over the place but I think that this record really embodies the you know 90s pop punk to what's happening modern with you know a lot of the bands that appear on Warp Tour, a lot of the up-and-coming bands like State Champs, uh, Story so far, um, and I think it's just a really cool blend because you don't really see that combination too often. Um, and yeah. Anything um, you learned from watching these bands, just like say, like you want to go see Broadside, do you see how they do their live performances, and do you implement it in yourself, pretty much on stage? Um. Uh, yeah. Well, of course. Yeah. Uh, every I would say so. I mean. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I want to be is uh, entertaining, and um, uh, just just I want I want to steal the show every time. You know, uh, that that's, that's that's the way I look at it. And I want you know I want my band just to have like you know the best performance on the bill. Uh, it, 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 you know, and I'm rooting for all the bands that we play with, no matter what show it is. You know. Yeah, and um, you know, every time I go to a show, I pay attention to you know what what I see the performers do, and I think what I've noticed really works the best is when an artist lets their guard down and uh, really gives themselves to the audience and makes it more about just the music, makes it about the experience that they're having. And I notice that a lot of bands that I take influences from are those people that connect to the crowds, and uh, you know, it's it's not about like. You know, we come to watch this band play. It's about we come together to celebrate something that we all love so much and that brings hope into our lives. And I think a lot of modern bands um, really know how to connect with audiences through experience and just mm -hmm. there's so much stuff out there that they've had so much to watch. It's almost like watching tape when you're like a football player. Mm -hmm. You know, it's you see what works and you see what doesn't work. And I think just being open and intimate is what works the best. And uh, yeah. All right, so we're going to be moving on to some kind of like fun type questions. Ooh, I, guess. I love fun. Then um, after that, we'll get a little serious and I'll ask some about some stuff about the EP. Sure. Um, the first question: If you had to do a side project band, what genre would it be? If it it cannot be like pop punk genre okay. or punk genre. Hmm. Damn. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I think I want to be like a. Um a classical musician. <laughs> no, I love classical music. Um, what, about, what, what about you, Phil? I don't know. What would you do? I know you've been in a lot of metal prog stuff, but that's not too far um, off. All right. You know what? I don't know. <laughs> you know what? In my in, in my honest opinion, you know, um, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm gonna. You know, this is how I'm actually gonna answer this question. Is um, uh, you know, uh, for the last uh, uh, twelve years, um, you know, I've had to listen to my dad. Uh, uh, criticize me in all the bands I was in the past because you know our bands aren't as good as his words back in his day. <laughs> we, we all get no, the no, same no. Talk. I, I was talking about all the bands I was in in the past. Oh, and, okay. Uh, oh, your bands. That, yeah, that's how I'm going to go about this question. Oh, okay. Um, so when he uh, finally started hearing uh, 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 the mixes uh, around uh, two months ago for the EP, yeah, yeah, for the EP, uh, f you know, for him to say that like meant the world that you know he said like this is the greatest thing you've ever done and everything you've done in the past is <laughs> like you know. <laughs> a absolute, uh, absolute do. And parents and, are your hardest and, critic. Yeah, usually. yeah. Well, you know what? Uh, my, yeah. my dad's always been a straight shooter, and uh, even though he doesn't listen to this music, he always, over the years, he's always heard what I've listened to, and you know, uh, he just says, uh, you know, between the quality and between um, just the musicianship and, and the songwriting and, and how catchy it is compared to my last bands, uh, you know, he, he says it's, uh, you know, he in his, for him to say that. You know, I, I've been in five bands in the past, so for him to say this one, you so know, you do another pop punk is is the best thing you've ever done in your <laughs> life um, up to this point. Like that, that meant a lot. Like it, it um, still does. Like it's crazy. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's that's great, man. Um, but 
You know, I think that. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> shut, shut up, Harambe. Hey, um, hey. Anyway, I think if you know, back getting closer to the, what the question was, um, I play. You know, I I grew up. Uh, I listened to all like you know, the Beatles. So I listened to a lot of modern pop bands. I love you know, mm. Panic at the Disco and whatnot. And I actually did a solo acoustic project for a while. Um, I'm still. I still kind of do it. This. Not, it's not really my priority mm. right now. But it's called Dropping Diamonds, and we kind of do um, alternative kind of like with classical influence it's it's strange to really you know pinpoint what it is i think that we take a lot of our influence from like kind of like a acoustic americano yeah kind of. yeah you know like we take a lot of you know panic you know early panic at the disco like a fever you can't oh, sweat like out mix up, that like, style like stuff. the deer hunter you know he takes oh, like, love, he takes he, like a baroque it's like a baroque yes. alternative it's it's strange and i just love you know implementing you know, such a modern sounds and stuff like, like classical studies because, you know, I, I do study classical at school and, you know, you know, as far as you can trace it all the way back, you know, music is music and as much as it changes, we all work off the same thing. So, uh, yeah, I think an alternative may be more towards the punk, like Arctic Monkeys type of stuff that I would like to do right. if I was in a different band. Okay. Right, so so, so, so I, I guess my answer is I, I wouldn't want to be doing anything else. This is all I want to do, so. <laughs> That's my personal answer. <laughs> that, that, so. right. That works, yeah. Uh, so my second question is, if you had to cover a song, what would it be? It uh, can be either like hmm. a popular song out today or it can be from like say like a local li band or... so baby pull me oh sir in the back no everyone's done that one that's like the, the yeah that, that's the one to cover right now that, that's, yeah, yeah, chain that's smokers like, yeah. yeah um yeah and, shout, and shout also, out to in loving memory with yeah, that sick cover yeah, they, yeah shout they, out they, to in loving memory and uh settle your scores that are an excellent cover yeah they release that very close to each other but I, I think each of them really reflects you know different elements and styles that they really you know they put their own spin on it i think they both sound really phenomenal. Um, Absolutely. Songs to cover. Um, oh, geez. I, I don't know. I, I have to... Maybe going back to something from like the 70s, 60s. Like, I want to say Beatles-esque. You know, maybe doing like... like a, a punk cover. Like a, like a punk Beatles. cover of like, Oh Darling. <laughs> like, Oh Darling. I don't know. Like, just like fast and like a beat. Like, Mm-hmm. I don't know, just taking something vintage, you know, and just making it new again. I, I think I think personally we should do a Christina Aguilera, but <laughs> <laughs> not bad. She's a phenomenal singer. T- she does. Talking with like the old like vintage, I thought um you guys know Our Last Night, right? Yes. Yeah, and they yeah, did they do great freaking, covers. Um, yeah, they do great covers. They did the Beatles, they did the Eagles, and they oh, just sweet. mashed it up with like that kind of like um kind of metalcore, kind of metalcore style, just a lot more upbeat. You know, that, like, different type of, like, if it was, like, modern. The feels vibe, are much yeah. different. Yeah, the vibes, 100%. Yeah. Right, right. We, we, we're always doing covers. Um, we actually have a couple covers lined up for our release show. I would love to spill the beans. Do we spill the beans? <laughs> oh, okay. I'll leave the beans unspilled, I guess. <laughs> we have covered uh, Four Years Strong, though. It must really suck to be Four Years Strong. That was a really fun cover. Got a great response from that. That was that was incredible. Uh, I've never had that in my life, and I hope our originals get that 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 bump uh you know throughout the, the the weeks and the months coming up you know I, I, that that's what we're hoping you know to get that kind of reaction okay so my last question i thought this is pretty um cool question by me um just that egotistical type <laughs> <laughs> okay Let it out, man. Um, I'm, all right. I'm getting nervous but <laughs> <laughs> you guys for like the two shows i went to the approaching troy and the b-list show you yeah. guys brought in smash brothers i thought that was <laughs> <laughs> freaking awesome smash so, melee <laughs> so i want to ask you if you had to label each of like your band members as a smash character oh, who would it be oh this is wow this is an easy question um so phil's donkey kong absolutely uh, <laughs> donkey schlong <laughs> hey. i'm um i'm clearly falco because i'm fast and agile and um i'm just I, i'm all around the best character no, <laughs> just kidding no i don't think i should label myself i should think i should what's, give that job to lax? phil yeah phil what do you think i am it's i don't know i would say a falco character. or a fox falco yeah. fox mm-hmm. interesting i'm a spacey what about lax lax oh man andrew lax what can you say about I that mean, we guy? call him panda as a joke <laughs> Hi, no Sam Gelman. Character. That started with Sam Gelman. Hi, Sam. Um, I see Lax as like um, an intelligent character, like Pichu. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Pichu. No, anybody who plays Smash Brothers know Pichu isn't the greatest character. I I think I see Lax as a as a Marth, distinguished, powerful, <laughs> feminine. <No. laughs> uh, Sorry, Lax. Shout out to you if you're listening to this. We love you. You know we do. Um, Ojeda, what's Ojeda? Ojeda. 
Man, Ojeda, he has to be Jigglypuff. Yeah, he has to yeah. be. He, 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 he's he, the killer. He's he, he he's a uh, yep. he's, uh, Yo, he's don't sleep on him. He uses his rest. That's that's a move. Don't it, sleep on him. It's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap. Andrew's a great player, and, and I get salty when me, him, and Luke play all the time. Oh, yeah, so Phil gets so mad. It's, I will it's, throw controllers. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> Phil, uh, Andrew actually, uh, I think he's worn a Jigglypuff shirt to like. 50% of our shows so far and I'm like Andrew has a pretty big wardrobe but I just see this Jigglypuff shirt at every show and I'm like you do you man rep, rep your character bro. cute adorable yeah but we just love bringing Smash to the hey. shows you know it gives us something to communicate with our, our fans and you know our friends and it gives us you know people come over to the table and it's not just about like what we can sell it's about like just having fun mm. and if we sell something that's great you know that's awesome and if you like it great sure and if not uh, use if the not? CD as a coaster I don't know <laughs> <laughs> like that's what I tell people it's like okay you don't like it cool <laughs> Great. I mean, I respect your opinion. Just, uh, you know, just don't drag on about it. Yeah, but. I, I, but I, I, I'm very, you know, I have high hopes that everybody is gonna enjoy it. We, we, we loved recording it. We loved writing it. And yeah, I Frank, think Frank did a great job. Frank Bones. Um, Shout out to uh, Frank Bones, producing, our engineering, producer, it. engineering. Um, you he's, know, he's phenomenal. Thank um, you. Um, yeah, down, down the drain around Konkuma, and uh, uh, we did drums at Voodoo. We did a reamping of Voodoo. Um, uh, uh, Mike Watts mixed it. Uh, the legendary yes. Mike Walks, Watts, Walks, Wow, Watts, uh, uh, from uh, at, right out of Voodoo, and um, uh, I forgot the guy who mastered it, uh, but it, <laughs> it, will, it will be in, it will be in the album credits. But, all, all that um, stuff will be on the record. It'll be on the record, and uh, you know, shout out to to Jackie and, and Ken uh, from the, to the from the Rock Underground for giving us a place to rehearse and to practice and, 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 and come and, come with our. Uh, with our issues and you know just yeah. help us sort things out because you know managing us and just uh, helping us out e every step of the way and th they've been amazing to us and the whole Rock Underground family uh, 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 Brandon Brianna uh, uh, and uh, all of them the Marlon great so let's start getting into the EP now um, for like the last ten minutes sure so what was I know you guys kind of said that you kind of wrote this stuff like way back. Um, so what was that process like? If it was just like a couple of you, a few of you there. Um, the process was. Uh, it depends on the song, I guess. If you were to look at um, uh, "Strive On," it was which just was the uh, opening track that you guys heard. Yeah, which is the opening track. Uh, what should we call it? Um, basically, mm -hmm. that was just a, a a riff idea, and it was actually arranged a lot more differently, and uh, we broke its back. And um, uh, and Andrew uh, Andrew's uh, phenomenal. He's a phenomenal songwriter. It usually uh, starts I, with like a melody, you know. Yeah, and um, he has a great ear. Um, he's definitely m made my songwriting better over the years. And um, you know, because we've known each other for two years now, so it's like I I see what he's trying to do with the the lyrics and the melodies. And, and when the direction of the song, and you know, you take a song like "We Refuse to Sink," it was us literally just jamming that um, the, <laughs> the intro for an hour straight. The pirate theme, the one. The pirate theme, one. R. <laughs> but um, that was literally uh, what we what we did was we just we we loop things a lot, and and then we break its back, and we could it could be twenty times. That sounds uh, painful. Yeah. Uh, we, mm. oh, well, Sometimes I, it's a painful experience. I will ask the song how it feels, but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, we um, that's what happens. We usually break the song like. It's back like twenty, uh, twenty two hundred times. Actually, keep revisiting it, revisiting yeah. it until you get what you want. And sometimes what you write is what you get. Is the whole song you loop, or is it just like specific parts? specific parts? Like we'll just do the okay. pre-chorus, hit it over and over again until it sounds great going into the chorus, or until we okay. think it sounds great. That feeling and then, needs to be there. Yeah, and then eventually, like when we did pre-production before we even recorded, obviously we uh, brought it to Frank, and we played it um, before we even had a singer. Uh, shout out to Chris Rogers for being a part of uh, pre-production. Because without him, uh, you know, Frank probably couldn't get the whole picture with the melody. <laughs> and this is uh, when we started in September of 2015. So, so thank you, Chris Rogers. And you guys didn't have a singer back then, right? No, we were a singerless for a long, long time. And then we ran into Luke of uh, uh, April. <coughs> yeah. Is it by then you added the lyrics and all um, the well, um, vocal parts, or was it before? Um, no, we, 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 we've had, we had everything written, um, Ojeda had everything written down in his songs, but he kind of broke his songs back, uh, the backs himself, and then I had my influence on it, and I had my opinions, and then, uh, I, I, uh, I think I wrote most of the other songs, but he had a huge part of the choruses, and usually the second verses, because I usually get lost in the second verses when it comes to writing. It's like, what do you do? 
Exactly. So so we had everything written out, and then we basically rewrote it again with Luke, and then Luke had his own dynamics. Yeah, and I remember specifically, you know, when you sent me the demo tracks, um, when you guys didn't have a singer and you guys were about to try me out, uh, you were singing on that. And, yeah. And and all the lyrics, and you know, the lyrics were written, the melody was written. Um, so I'm I'm a songwriter myself, and at first I was like, oh well, I kind of wanted some creative liberties, but it's not all about you know. There's more to creativeness than just the melody and the words there's there's diction there's the way you pronounce things there's the feel you add to things um, and when I took the songs I thought to myself how can I add my voice my style on something that was already so great and I just right. tried my best to add my character to that and you know in, when we were in pr uh, production and we you know we went in and we started recording some things uh, Frank our producer pointed out you know enjoy it you know try some new things out and I always love trying new things out because you know sometimes you mess up in the studio and that that mess up could be the next big thing that could be the thing that you were looking for like we have a mm -hmm. couple melodies in the songs that were all, most of the melodies were written but I decided you know sometimes I'd be like let's try something different and some of those different things were, were, were my ideas that are now on the record and it's really great to see how it all just came together mm, absolutely I mean it's, it's been a long process and it was just great to have Luke um, you know just 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 take it to a whole nother level you know because the singing this we were actually getting so desperate that uh, because we couldn't find anybody that were like hey Phil you want to sing and play bass lead vocals mm -hmm. and play bass and I said, not, I said, not really, <laughs> you know, like, it's a big job, especially with, you know, the bass fills Well, you and still everything. do harmonies and whatnot. I like, do harmonies, but yeah. see, now the cool thing about harmonies or just singing the lead is it happens uh, throughout the song, mm -hmm. so it's not like every, you know, five, four, four seconds I'm singing, except for on Walk, that's, mm -hmm. that's the most involved song. Which was song, the last track. Walk which is the me. last track yeah. on our record, but everything else is like, oh, I get a good, like, you know, 15, uh, 10 to 15 seconds before I got to just pop in and harmonize with the this fine gentleman right here so and it's great hearing you behind me man so it's really the most difficult part about this ep was just the whole member just like scenario of setting it up um well you know i mean songwriting i feel like was probably difficult for you phil um but i think once you guys i mean i'm not saying that it's difficult for you specifically <laughs> but i'm just saying in general you know writing a song writing a good song it's it's an emotional experience you know it's a creative experience it's not the easiest thing but it isn't. It, it, you guys had the songs together, so you guys were just trying to find those members that were willing to stick around and put in the work. And I saw how hard you guys worked, so I wanted to be a part of something so special. So I just really wanted to hop on board and give you guys all of me. And I wanted to go all out. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> no pun intended. Well, thanks, man. I, I, I appreciate that. Yeah, it's like, you know, we definitely got to have uh, more voices because the more creative we are, the better the song will be, the more original it will sound rather than sounding like other bands, you know, mm -hmm. and it, it's hard to be original in uh, today's world. There's you know? so much music. So There's many so people. much music. It's so oversaturated. Mm -hmm. And um, we, we just, we want to, now, compared to what we did with this record, which is uh, definitely we'll hear some, our influences, but the, the, the next batch of songs that we're writing now is just going to be like 100%, 110% um, from, it's going to be all, 110% all out, I should say. You know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? When it comes to like, kind of like tossing the yeah. influences out the window and just writing like the best song possible and right you know you know our first record i think it will distinguish what we want our sound to be but when we hit you with those singles in the upcoming months and you know the future i hope you guys are just like wow it's like i that's a curveball i didn't expect that but i'm happy nonetheless and i think you guys will be so i'm stoked for that any funny stories while making this record uh, in the production <laughs> <laughs> well we're a bunch of doofuses so uh <laughs> Yeah, um, just we, it's hard to it's hard to stay serious sometimes, you know, we because we always have so much fun. I think one remarkable experience was when we were uh, tracking gang vocals for "We Refuse to Sink," and we got fifteen of our buddies just coming into the studio and you know <laughs> just making pirate noises and <laughs> laughing and like going like caca, caca, yeah, that you know? was great. Just just, just drinking it's and like, eating pizza and just, just yeah. having a great time just uh, tracking these yeah, gangs. There was it a was, lot of pizza. You know, I was I was, <clears> I, was I was nauseous after that session. You know. We, <clears throat> we we had just a, 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 a huge array of people. It was it was great. It was great from Jacob Miranda, yeah. from uh, 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 Check Engine Light, all the way to uh, uh, actually Ian, who's actually here from the Nightmare Police. Yeah, he's about um, to do an acoustic set. Shout yeah. out to him. He's the homie. Yeah. He's really you know talented dude. Um, and yeah, th there's so many fun experiences. I wish we could share with all you guys from you know spending late nights at, at the studio, me passing out, you know like sleeping like. 
trying to stay awake, they're chugging monsters. I think I went into like a Cheetos addiction at some point. <laughs> I'm not even kidding because I was getting like withdrawals because we would sit at the studio for like six hours on end and I just got so hungry and so I would go to the vending machine that was downstairs. Yeah, thank God that vending machine at, saved yeah, our lives, at Frank, man. at Frank's studio and I think I spent like, oh, God, I spent at least a hundred bucks. That deli, you know, and um, once again, that was a, that was just a, a great experience um, and uh, uh, we're hoping to do it again uh Sooner than later. Oh, so. yeah. So, we're running pretty much out of time. So, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. So, um, where can people <coughs> find you on social media um, um, and well, find your music? Um, well, you could get us on Facebook. Uh, just uh, all out. It's it's together. It's capital A, capital O. Uh, uh, Facebook slash uh, all out uh, L-I. Um, and then I think Instagram is. Uh, you can find us on Instagram under uh, All Out Band. Uh, I tend to run a lot yeah, of that, all out but band. we all take turns, and uh, we're always posting funny, funny stuff, you know, on our journey to, you know, make the stream a reality. Um, and you know, and then there's Twitter. Twitter, uh, yes, we've been we've been kind of slow on the Twitter, but once the release comes and you know people are picking up the record, you know people are actually interested in what we have to offer. I think that we're going to start tweeting more, and, you know, so have some open discussions and get people involved and see what they want, what they like, what they're into, you know, and just make it a big collaborative effort because that's and spread the word. Spread the word, yes, we can't do it without you guys. So if you really like All Out, then you know please let everybody know you do. Um, <laughs> I'm always supporting local acts and the B list. Once again, I mentioned them because. They're playing our release show as well, and I've been listening to the record. November 26th. As well yes. as Approaching Troy, yes. who had us on their release yes. show. So Shout out sure to Approaching to Troy and, and Jake yep. Salazar and the boys. Uh, yeah, our show is November 26th. Uh, it's going to be at AMH, Amityville Music Hall. That venue does great things for and, and, yeah, music. Absolutely, and the one thing about the show was the hardest thing was like uh, picking a, and choosing the bands to be on our release show, and there was, yeah. a, it was about 40, and, you, you know... It was just so hard because we love so many bands you know, bands, so many, so like many people. we love the shore breaks, the the the, the makeshifts, yeah. uh, nice shot kid, uh, gutter life. There's just so many bands. Um, older than oceans. Old, I mean, older oceans. We got them. I'm, um, you know, that uh, alumni. Well, we got alumni yeah, opening up the show. Right, right. I'm Shout just talking about so many other bands friend. that you know. Uh, not obviously, nightmare and uh, this is. It just, it just, it kind of just happened just the way it happened. But you know, there's gonna be future shows, and it's yep. There's gonna be plenty of shows. You know, Long Island and 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 and, and, and out of New York, hopefully, starting in uh, January. Yep, and uh, we'll have the record available. We'll also have some merch, and of course, we'll have some uh, some Smash Brothers set up. So if you guys want to nerd out with us, you know, we might even have some competition. So maybe you could win a record or something. And uh, all our music will be available on streaming websites. And but we're gonna we're gonna keep you guys in the loop for that. We haven't exactly planned where that's gonna go. And we'll have singles real soon. Yep, singles real soon. All right, thanks guys for joining us. Um, thanks, stay for thanks for having us. No problem. problem. Man, stay it. tuned for Ian Washington from the Nightmare Please performing um, a bit of acoustic stuff. And after that, um, we got uh, and <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Andrew it's hot in here. <laughs> Nikolai from <laughs> Anna slash Gutter Life doing some accused stuff later on too, so stay tuned. And uh, thank you to the Spectrum for having me. Uh, I'm going to play some songs for you. This first one's a brand new one. Uh, I hope you can hear everything. It's called Taking Hold. Yeah. 
show It's time to let go Cause I've seen it all before It's time to let go Cause it's time to let go Cause I can feel you underneath my skin Clawing at my insides, taking hold Cause I can feel you underneath my skin Clawing I think we're good. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm back with a tuned guitar. And um, this next song is a song by my friend AJ, who goes by Bogues. Uh, he's from Tennessee, and he plays amazing music. So please check him out. The song is called Sometimes. Sometimes I seek guidance from a God that I don't believe in. Sometimes I want to see you, and other times I don't think I can look at you again. Sometimes I wish well the dawn from Avenue And I would fade slowly Sometimes on my bed in my room I realize I need to learn to cope
cool. So that was uh, Sometimes by Bogues. Please go check him out. He rules. Uh, so my band released an EP about a year ago. Uh, we're called The Nightmare Police. And I'm going to play you a song off of the EP. This next one is the second track off of our EP. It's called No Time Left. Um, I hope you guys dig it. Hey there, little girl. You never get too old to be the same way. You always weren't back then, and it's never quite the way it was. When what we saw represents emotion of what we knew back when. When you and I felt like we could take on anything, you and I run like the wind, but there's no time to wrap the world. before um, I have some stuff up for stuff up online you know Spotify all that stuff Spotify iTunes Amazon Google uh, all that kind of stuff you can just search the nightmare police and you'll find us um, we are headed out on the road soon we'll be heading out as a full band from November 10th through November 20th we will be doing the East Coast and Midwest, starting in Baltimore and ending in Pittsburgh, heading south and then west and then back east. So take a look on our social medias to find information about that if you live in those areas. We'd love to see you. Um, so I'm going to play another new song right now. Uh, this song may or may not end up on the next record. 
which we are currently writing. Uh, it is not done yet, but hopefully it will be soon, and you guys can hear it, and we will be recording it hopefully soon as well. Hello, live people. Those of you that are watching this live may not be listening live, but watching live. Hello. I'm waving to you. I hope you're digging what you're hearing so far. Uh, this song's called Where Were You? And it goes like this. I hold the bottle close Lost again She lingers in the corner of my eyes And all the lies They pierce my heart before it turns to dust In your hands While I try to Fire through endless nights in orange skies, and the freeway goes for miles, but I'll never stop to rest. New perceptions come, and I feel like I'm on the edge. Without you, I am just another hopeless shell of man. But I'm never coming back again Carry on But I don't think I can make it on my own Farther on I wonder what is what lands me in the cold Breakdown, and we've lost all hope of it being restored. Cause I think I know who did. cutting this short yeah I got one more um, so this is uh, the title not the title track but it is the first track on our EP which you can listen to online on all the social media networks remember come give us a like come say hi come message us do whatever you like if not that's cool too this song is called 18 and uh, I'm really excited thank you so much for listening thank you so much for tuning in live thank you so much for everything the song's called 18. I hope you guys like it. Faster than minutes, getting colder like my heart is frozen. I'm beginning to feel like I'm free. 
crying in my grave It's all just too much trouble Body will rot as the seasons change Forever young at heart I'd like to think I know where I have to start But this can't be the end of things And no, I can't tell you, baby, that forever's not enough Forever young at heart But it still takes you No, I'll never Everybody. My name is Andrew Nikolai. I'm from an acoustic project called Anna. I have my debut album coming out November 12th. Release show Port Side in Port Jeff. Oh, let me take a sip of water here. All right. I'm going to play you guys a couple songs off this upcoming album. I hope you guys enjoy. How the world works is what they all say One minute you hear them One minute you're not So if we ever meet again Let's do all the things we used to do Let's not stop to play pretend So here I go Oh, 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 oh Cause you need to see I'm just drifting away on the ocean I don't know if I come back at all Because my life comes crashing down wave after wave Oh, on your shores Please believe me that if this was all different than I would I would be right next to you That for sure I know is true And all the memories that we made along the way I hope we'd say I can never forget you Never forget you So here I go Oh, 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 oh it's to the unknown world Cause you need to see I'm 
just drifting away on the ocean I don't know if I come back at all because my life comes crashing down wave after wave oh on your shores and when you think of me just know that I'll be happy making something out of nothing I really hope you see I'm drifting to find my own island a solace and follow my dreams On your shores I'm just Drifting away On the ocean I'm not coming back I'm not coming back Oh, oh because my Life comes crashing Down wave After wave After wave After wave I'm just Drifting away on the ocean I'm not coming back, I'm not coming back Oh, who oh, because my life Comes crashing down wave After wave, after wave, after wave For those of you just tuning in, my name's Andrew Nikolai from Anna I'm also in a punk band called Gutter Life I want to give a quick shout out to a couple of friends of mine on the island, fellow musicians. You got Jake Furia, J6, The Nation. Oh man, there's so many out there. God, where do I even start with this? Man, big ups to Maxwell Peters putting on all the local shows. Louis Navis as well. He did a good job as well. Big shout out to All Out for their EP release show coming up soon. And, um,. Everything else along the way has been really awesome on Long Island. The scene's been going, growing really sick. Really awesome to see that. And a uh, huge shout out to Kristen Kettles, Danny Christian, Danny Dakota. Also, awesome um, acoustic artist that I'm going to work with a lot more in the future. But uh, like I said before, I'm coming out with a self titled album. It'll be out uh, November 12th, which will be the release show as well at Portside and Port Jeff. That's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, I can't wait to see what a lot of people think about what I've been doing with this. It's been a, a long time coming for me to actually do something acoustically. I know my parents are always like, you should do something with your acoustic stuff. And for some reason, my dad always thinks that uh, gutter life, being that it's pop punk, is apparently worshipping the devil. But uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> obviously, I don't agree with that too much. <laughs> this next song is called Separate Ways. Hello, my dear. It's quite nice to meet you all over again. Cause it feels like years since I've seen your face and how I want to mend my cold lips against yours. My cold lips against yours. My cold lips against yours. Now I'm sure, now I'm sure, now I'm sure, now I'm sure. I really hate how my life gets torn into two separate ways by the one that I love and the thing that I love the most. Oh, I kind of wonder how long this will last. Maybe my nomadic life will never last. And maybe soon we'll be together in the aftermath. 
I really love it, I really hate it Sometimes it makes me frustrated When I can't make up my mind It's something that I think about all the time You've always known how to get me under And now I'm thinking about the way you taste I'm always praying that I'm starting to wait As I hope for the day you come and take me away I really hate how my life gets torn into two separate ways By the one that I love and the thing that I love the most Oh, I kind of wonder how long this will last Maybe my nomadic life will never last And maybe soon we'll be together in the aftermath I really hate how my life gets torn into two separate ways By the one that I love and the thing that I love the most How long can we make this last? Where is the past and all of the thoughts that came along With all the things that we would do But now it's gone and now I just need you the most Sometimes I lay awake at night And I sit there and I wonder why I am not Feeling alive But that's the way the wind blows Sometimes I lay awake at night And I sit there and I wonder why I am not Feeling alive Well that's the way the wind blows This next song is called Uneven Summer. Of all the colors in the rainbow You're the prettiest of all If only you can see what I see I don't wish smile when you call I think that made you notice notice me when I'm not around and I should know that when we're lonely we can both smile even if we're miles away oh my god here I go again Singing all these love songs Cause my heart's caught up again Oh, I take things too slow I take things fast When will things make sense? When will they last? Sometimes I feel like I lost control Even though your smile will make me glad That I'm not alone could do better You think I'm the best there is With all this talk going back and forth Let's just agree to disagree So then we could both be happy And so, oh my God Here I go again Singing all these love songs Cause my heart's caught up again I take things too slow, I take things fast When will things make sense, when will they last? Sometimes I feel like I lost control Even though your smile will make me glad that I'm not alone I can't believe what I'm feeling Cause I'd have the worst of luck I take things too slow, I take things fast When will things
things make sense When will they last? Sometimes I feel like I lost control Even though your smile will make me glad that I'm not alone I take things too slow I take things too fast Sometimes I feel like I lost control Even though your smile will make me glad that I'm never alone That I'm never alone This next song is a, wrote, a song I wrote with my sister, Gabrielle Nikolai. 14-year-old prodigy, honestly. Um, she's playing piano on this track. And uh, this song's called Suzette the Marionette. Up on the mountain in a cabin away from the world There lives a man whose life had already unfurled Alone with no family and no close friends Thoughts to himself thought it might be the end Started chiseling away at pieces of wood then a paintbrush in hand and did what he could and he sings oh my lovely Suzette things don't seem so dark anymore since we met oh my lovely Suzette we have a lot in store the moment we Sisters too Perhaps even the love of your life will come true and Darling, all I have to do is pull some strings Stay up all night just to make you pretty things Now the sun rises a warm embrace Making time go through me with such haste Now I think back on the days where I lived my life from ways of that Taste to generate Oh, my lovely Suzette Things don't seem so dark anymore since we've met Oh, my lovely Suzette We have a lot in store the moment we get moment we get the moment we get all right guys thank you so much for listening in all my fans uh fans and friends more friends than fans actually i'd say tune in on live on facebook i see you guys right now um i'm gonna leave off with this last song for you guys and uh i'll see you guys around you can hit me up on facebook at facebook.com andrew nikolai acoustic and uh, soundcloud.com slash uh, Andrew Nikolai, I believe. Can't remember off the top of my head right now. Which I should, which is so bad of me. I don't want to beat myself up for it later. But that's okay. Anyway, this last song is called The Devil's Advocate. Thank you guys so much for listening and have a great day. I know I'm not the only one that feels The way you make me feel Oh The way my hand stands up on my arm You have a way with words and your charm 
but does he know that I don't care if he ever catches us? He doesn't make it to his girl like I do. And the way back arches when I'm on top of you. Oh, girl, you know that you're so bad when it feels so good. And I do things that he wish he could do to you. I'll be hanging out, just doing my thing Picking up my phone every time you try to ring I'm like, hey, what's up, hello? He still don't even know You tell me to come over and I keep it on the low I'm telling you, this girl is the one The one to go and break your heart And then some That's why I'll never get close I'll never get too close He doesn't make it to his girl like I do And the way it back arches when I'm on top of you Whoa. Girl, you know that you're so bad when it feels so good And I do things that he wish he could do to you I think that you should stop playing games with people's hearts But I'm no better, I am the devil's advocate So baby you should listen I think that you should stop playing games with people's hearts But I'm no better, I am the devil's advocate So baby you should listen I think that you should stop Playing games with people's hearts But I'm no better I am the devil's advocate So maybe you should listen So forget about him Just starting a sin As I'm ripping off your clothes Yet again Just like you asked me to This isn't nothing new So forget about him You're starting a sin As I'm ripping off your clothes Yet again, just like you asked me to This isn't nothing new He doesn't make you to his girl like I do And the way back watches when I'm on top of you Girl, you know that you're so bad when it feels so good And I do things that he wish he could do You're so bad when it feels so good 